better. My perks sit up and feel better. Set the trend, I'm a trendsetter. Pull out a rest of the cheddar. Out of my wrist, timeless. Yes, sir. Good to see you, bro. Hey, man. Damn, what the fuck are you doing, bitch? What like, what the fuck? Watch out. That been yeah, you already said. He said that would have been expensive. Oh, yeah, God. oh God, it would have been expensive. Yeah. Man, so bro. I, to give you, I was like, let me see if I can find the fucking TT so I can give them both of them to you at the same time. Damn. Thank you, man. No Appreciate problem. that. Shout out your Instagram and stuff. It's a JRC706. Yeah, man. Longtime supporter of the channel and stuff like that. Got me this identical GT500 that I've had and the TTRS that I've been looking for. I've been looking for that damn car. I couldn't find it, man. I really appreciate it, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since I have uploaded. I've been pretty busy. Been doing a lot of scooter riding, so you guys will see some of that in the video. But uh, I've been chilling out. Haven't been doing too much to the car because I ordered some parts from uh, eBay. And I was supposed to get the rear spats for the TTRS. And I had to get a refund because they never showed up. Um, I was waiting like a month for them. They never showed up. And then that's the iffy thing about ordering parts for this car. Is there's just not a lot of places you can get a lot of parts so then when you find a specific you know site or seller you try to trust them and then stuff like that happens but i did get my refund on it um and there's not too many sites that i find that are reasonably priced a lot of stuff they'll have things for it but like just for those spats somewhere else i think they would have cost me like 500 dollars for two pieces of abs plastic for the rear bumper which i'm not doing if you guys seen at the little car meet i just kind of got a couple clips i wasn't really trying to film there i was just there to kind of walk around and eat but uh got me a shelby gt500 kind of replica of the one that i had previous um before the ttrs and a ttrs i've been looking for those things at the stores i can never find them and uh, he was able to find them so i really do appreciate that if you do see this part of the video thank you for that and uh right now i'm gonna take some time to go donate to the homeless people um, I always pack up clothes, shoes, and all kind of stuff, and I rack it up, and I end up uh, donating stuff. So, and they finna get some good shit today. I mean, I got name brand stuff that I just, you know, I got some Tokyo ones. This, you know, some homeless finna be walking around in. I got some <clears throat> Gore-Tex ones that some they finna be getting. I got some Yeezys in here. You know, some nice shirts. I mean, they get some some Hollister. You know, like, I got a bunch of clothes that I just either don't fit or I don't use anymore, so I'm just going to donate it. Go. What size shoes you wear? Nine. I hate to fit if it's UK, I guess. I'm going to give you some, uh, some ones. I'm going to give you some Jordan ones, bro. Right up. Let me see. I got yeah, this one. There you go. Thank you. Here, I got some more shirts for you. Yeah, if you guys see it, man, they're just homeless people everywhere in this area. So I'm just, I'm just, I just gave out one of the bags that I had. About to give out the rest of these shoes and clothes to a lot of these folks if they need it. Some people be picky, man. You'd be surprised how picky some homeless people can be. But uh, we're gonna get them some clothes and get out of here. How much clothes you got? I ain't got none. You ain't got none? Here, take that bag. Okay, yeah. If he needs some, just give him some. Okay, yeah. Okay. What size shoe you wear? And a female though, right? Yeah. These might fit you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got another one for you, bro. Okay. Eight and a half, bitch. Go ahead, check them out. 
Please give me out these Wookie signs. Please give me out these Wookie signs. You know what I mean? Give me something I can trade. I can trade for something on my side. That's me right there. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's big dog. Eric, take that. Come on, man. Take that. Some shirts? Hollister. Hollister? Yeah, Hollister. Oh, I love Hollister. Hollister shirts right there. You got no shoes? Yeah, for sure. Here. Man, I don't. But probably I, I come through here like usually like once every week. So I come back. I be having name brand joints. I should be away. For sure. Definitely got it. Hand sanitizer. It's like I said, it's kind of crazy, you know. You give stuff to homeless. Um, you'd be surprised how ungrateful some people can be. But you know, these people seem pretty grateful. Like I said, I'm always buying new stuff and giving away stuff that I don't need, cleaning up. I'm planning on moving here pretty soon, so it looks like these people came down here and giving people water, which is cool because it is hot as hell out here. It's like over 100 degrees. So that's cool. This has been pretty crazy. Two crashes already. God damn, CJ over here, they ain't doing no maintenance on the scooter, just taking it home and putting it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I, cl I told you, clean it, because when you clean it, you get to touching everything. <laughs> nah, he need a socket, yeah, he need a socket. Tonight has been crazy, we all stopped to get some food, we're here eating. CJ lost a nut on his wheel, two crashes, but we all here. Boy, Andy's here. Wanna head out, head out soon? Yeah, we're leaving right now. All right. Yeah, we're already. I gotta, I gotta get ready. All right, bet. Yeah, we're already getting ready to leave out. We got like two more stops, and we are headed back. Huh? Huh? Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. After the ride, learned that CJ needed them nuts. Got them right. New lights on there, everything. Scooter shop. Got him at uh, Los Santos Customs today. Man, now he right. New carbon fiber bar on there. Got a new area for you can put his lights and shit. There's a box, got them oiled up. You always want to keep the shocks oiled. You put oil on there, test the brakes. Probably what I'm gonna have you do right now is just ride it and then see which one of your brakes uh, rotors is rubbing a little bit. Then we could adjust that so they can stop rubbing. If it's still doing it, we'll test that right now. Yeah, got them right. Got them right. <laughs> Hold on, see that damn. I feel. <laughs> Yeah, what a guy. God. <laughs> How I feel now? <laughs> New scooter. New scooter, yeah, yeah. You need to tighten up the brakes. Oh, okay, tighten it up a little bit more. It keeps sliding. Smooth. Yeah. 